You said something really interesting, and I think I've brought this up in prior interviews, but I read an article about how extroverts and sometimes narcissists do much better in job interviews versus introverts and people that would actually be more well qualified for the job, but they don't come across well when they present themselves. So I'm imagining that's the same with pitches because I think a lot of people, and this is probably why they're such great writers, is they're so internal, they're so like worried about things and thinking that they don't make the best impression, but they might actually be the best person for the job. So it sounds like that's that's a common thing with pitching that maybe people that are great show people, mm -hmm. that, that they maybe don't have the material as much to back it up versus the ones that maybe are a little more shy or I hate to use the term mousy, but you know, somebody that might be less uh, of a show person. Writers in general, uh, most of the writers I've met are a are little bit more introverted. They're, they're used to working by themselves. That's writing is a solitary thing unless you write with a partner. Um, but you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a solitary thing and it's hard for them to express everything verbally. In fact, I think it's probably more terrifying for them to be able to talk about themselves than it is to talk about their scripts as well. And th I think that's one of the things I always have to tell writers is if you don't feel comfortable on, in who you are, what you should do is write your own kind of um, little personal story or outline of, of, of who you are. Uh, as an example, one of my favorites is, I, I used to do the interviews for the Disney internship program, and there was a guy there from UCLA, and he, uh, he had the most interesting story about himself, and I said, tell me a little bit about yourself, because that's usually how a lot of us start off. You know, we will ask people, tell us a little bit, so they can kind of ease you into before you're doing the pitch. And he was so funny, and he just said, well, I grew up as a military brat. And I was born in, you know, Germany, and I spent, you know, five years there, and then I spent four years in Thailand with my, you know, my dad was transferred to Thailand, and then, and then I, uh, uh, I ended up in the Philippines, and, and anyway, he says, here I am now at UCLA, and this is my, my fifth year at UCLA, and it's the longest I've ever spent anywhere <laughs> at one time. And he says, but you know, my favorite thing is, I can translate any. I can translate any movie. I can read subtitles and and he named off all the languages that he had learned. I thought, my God, what an interesting guy. He he has such a, a beautiful world view. Uh, and think what he can bring to his stories uh, about the diverse cultures, about looking at things through a different lens than just an American lens. And uh, I then had him, you know, come in and he talked to the rest of our group and he talked about the same kind of thing and we all loved him. And that was what nailed it for us, is that he had that kind of uh, sensibility about himself. He wasn't afraid to just sort of talk about himself, and, but he did it in a way that made it interesting and made us realize this guy could get, must give us a different, he probably has the ability to give us a different voice in his writing. Interesting. Uh, there are other, there are other, um, you know, ideas that that have come across where I think people don't understand that you do have to talk about yourself to a certain extent, and I think people feel uncomfortable about that. I think that's what I, um, one of the things I try to do when when we, I'm doing my networking classes, I try to do icebreakers so that people get used to being asked about themselves and about their projects because maybe they're taught that, well, you don't, you shouldn't be talking about yourself. You should just be talking about your project. It's a combination. We are not only looking for a project. We are looking for somebody we want to be in business with. And that's what I, I'm trying to get across is that it's a twofold thing. And so when you build your network of, con of contacts, that is exactly what you should be doing. You should be talking about your projects to these people, you know, to your, your group, but also letting them know a little bit more about who you are as a person. These things stick in our mind. Uh, one guy came in and he had actually gotten a couple of, of jobs, you know, doing small little rewrites and he had done some punch-up stuff for comedies. Uh, and I remember he kept looking at his watch while we were having a meeting. He, he was pitching a story to me. He kept looking at his watch. And I finally just said, um, 
do you need to go somewhere? Do you have an appointment? <laughs> and he just said, I really feel embarrassed, but I'm really into fantasy baseball. <laughs> Our fantasy baseball league, I'm supposed to meet some friends. And, and it had been, he, he, he did a move, he did a, uh, uh, a conversation with me, and it was unfortunately at the end of the day. And I was running late, and so he was kind of concerned about that. But it didn't work out. But he did give me a good pitch in terms of, you know, I, I, but what was funny is that one thing, his honesty about saying, well, you know, right. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just a, a big nerd about this fantasy baseball thing. And I, that stuck in me. I, it was so funny, six months later, uh, the head of the studio said, you know what? Um, my kid's doing Little League, and I want to talk, to, you know, I, I, I think we should do something about Little League. Do you know how fanatical people are and about Little League and about baseball and stuff like this? And, and so anyway, it's, it was one of those things where he says, uh, we need to do a project on this, and we need to find a writer. So maybe we can, uh, if we can talk to a bunch of writers about this. So guess whose name came? Right. <laughs> Immediately I thought, oh, yes, let's get Kevin. And so we did this thing where we had... Some other, some of the other execs too had people that they had in mind to, to come in, and we listened to about five or six pitches. Kevin's was like head and shoulders above all the rest because he was a fanatic about baseball. It was just that one little sentence that he gave me, where you're networking with people and you're letting somebody know a little bit about yourself and opening up. And so that's why I want to encourage writers to do that. I think it's important that they, they open up about who they are, too.